call to action 24 hours a day. For the volunteer crew of an RNLI lifeboat, the beep of a pager means drop everything. Someone is in need of urgent help. It's a call over 4,500 volunteer crew members and the 235 lifeboat stations they belong to must be ready for all year round. The RNLI have had a permanent base in Lymington since 1965. This year we'll see the largest fundraising push since their new boathouse was christened four years ago. Nick Hayward is the Lymington Lifeboat Senior Helmsman and Head Mechanic. The boat itself is about £140,000. The tractor unit pushing it in is about £120,000. Two two-stroke engines, so you know, we're called about 50, 50, 60 times a year. You know, we burn quite a bit of fuel. This weekend we'll see the first event in the national fundraising calendar based on the three letters SOS. Organisers hope the public will be inspired to use the letters to plan events such as sample our soup or sell our souvenirs. Nick explains the most important tool Lymington currently needs. Big, big part of our costings is our training. Our kit wise as well, it wears out. You know, dry suits, life jackets, helmets, gloves, um, boots and there's thermal suits underneath. Training is a big part of our um, expenditure. All the crew is trained. We do a series of what we call competence-based training. Every crew member has to have this competence-based training and we're reassessed every yearly, so it's ongoing. The success of this weekend will be known in a month's time, but with just one day's training costing nearly £2,000, eyes are already firmly set on the first weekend in May for the annual Lymington Lifeboats 10k run. Um, it's got a very quite a big event and every year and it raises, raises a lot of money for the station and the running costs of the station you know it's there's more costs than people think there's all the electricity there's water there's you know a lot of it goes to running so the 10k run does help towards it and it's specific to the station and for those wishing to donate more of themselves than money nick and his team are always looking for new crew members um, qualifications we like people to have some sort of boating experience or know what they're doing local area knowledge things like that but a lot of the training will be given on site with the Easter racing season weeks away, it's hoped 2010 will begin with the cash boost the charity relies on. In Lymington, James Alex Waldron.